First at 11 tonight, we're working developing news. We're learning more about a Warwick science teacher who's charged with sexual assault. It was first breaking live at 5 here on WPRI 12. 49-year-old Mario Toyan is accused of sexually assaulting a teenage relative. And new tonight, we're hearing from a mother whose daughter was in one of his classes. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum has the developing details in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. We know Mario Atoyan was a science teacher here at Gorton Junior High. We spoke with a woman whose daughter was in his class. Just hours after the news broke of a Warwick Junior High teacher being accused of sexual assault, we're hearing from a parent whose daughter was taught by that teacher. Shocked, absolutely shocked at first because he's a very well-respected member of the community. North Kingstown Police confirmed that Mario Atoyan has been charged with first and second degree sexual assault. The parent we spoke to doesn't want to be identified, so we're only showing you her hands. Her daughter was in Atoyan's seventh grade science class. The experience that I had with him during open house was someone who is out in the private sector working, who really has a passion for education and teaching. The Attorney General's office tells us the alleged victim was a relative of Atoyan and was 15 years old when it was said to have happened last summer. You have to just let the system do its job and you have to have faith because as us as parents, if we overreact, if we start jumping to assumptions, we're going to teach our children and do the same thing. The school district sent home this letter saying a teacher was placed on leave, never said why, and went on to tell parents a counselor would be available to talk to students. I disagree with how the letter was sent and the wording in the letter. Do you wish the school district was more open with what was happening in that letter? I wish they chose their words differently and provided more guidance. The Warwick School Superintendent tells us Otoyan was in class on Monday before leaving because he was sick. His bail was set at $10,000. In Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.